Hello and welcome back to my Astronomy Nights. I'm Derek and in this video I'm looking at M82, the Cigar Galaxy. Now the Cigar Galaxy is a small little elongated edge-on starburst galaxy located in the constellation of Ursa Major and it's a smaller member of that lovely pair of galaxies with Bose Galaxy M81. Now these are circumpolar objects so they're always available from say latitudes like mine here in Ireland and it gives you a really good chunk of the year that you can observe and image them. Um, they're not too tricky to locate, so let's take a look and see how to track these ones down. So to locate Messier 82, there's a couple of methods you can use. The first being a straightforward method of using Alpha and Gamma Ursa Majoris. They're the corner stars on the Big Dipper. You just continue that line out again the same distance of 10 and a half degrees, and that gives you the general area of the two of them. But if your sky conditions aren't great, this might work as well. I used to find when I was in a Bortle 4 that this didn't work well for me. So another method then is to try to track down 24 Ursa Majoris. This is the nearest star to the two of them. So the best way of doing that is to get Alpha um, Ursa Majoris, which is Dubé, go 10.5 degrees out towards 23 Ursa Majoris, then go 4 degrees to the north of that, and you'll see that little isosceles triangle and that's made up of 8, 11 and 13 Ursa Majoris. And then 24 Ursa Majoris is just 3 degrees away from that back towards the north. And then if you can get that in your finder scope, you'll be right beside the pairing of galaxies. So if you just work your way down a little, you'll see them show up in your finder scope as two little grey ovals that are quite similar in size because you can't see that arm structure of M81. So it looks like kind of similar size um, ellipses or grey ovals. So Messier 82 is also known as the Cigar Galaxy and that's due to that elongated tapered shape it has in the eyepiece. It sits at 12 million light years from us and it was discovered by Johann Bode in 1774. He described his observation as seeing a pale elongated nebulous patch and this is one of the most interesting galaxies that you can observe or you can photograph due to that star forming activity and the dark lanes that run through the centre. Now, it's much smaller than its close by neighbour Bode's galaxy at only 11 by 4.5 arc minutes and it has a magnitude of 8.4 but it does have a really good surface brightness and the contrasting dust lanes hold up really well when you add magnification onto it. Now, both of those galaxies are part of the M81 group including some other smaller galaxies that are nearby like uh, NGC 3077 and NGC 2403 in Camelopardalis. I'll go into more detail on the M81 group in my next video concentrating on M81 Bose Galaxy. So M82 would be a really well-known galaxy on its own right if it was just sitting in its own part of the sky, but the fact that it teams up with M81 Bose Galaxy to create that wonderful pairing of galaxies that fit in a single eyepiece, it becomes probably the best pairing of galaxies that you can observe in the night sky. Now these are the central part of the M81 group. Um, there's some other smaller galaxies in that are quite close by and a few others that are a little bit more distant that make up that um, M81 group. You have NGC 3077 which is only a couple of degrees away and you have NGC 2976. There are small little galaxies nearby and you also have NGC 2403 over in Camelopardalis being a member of this group. There's some fascinating ones to observe just because of the different sizes and structures that are around in that area. Um, when I'm looking at M81 in my next video, I'll focus on the actual M81 group of galaxies as well. So to collect my data for this, I was using my QHY monochrome camera and it was all with my 200 PDS on top of my any Q6 mount from Skywatcher. I added some color into this then from my GH5 because I was restricted with the amount of nights I was getting. So I just ran uh, the color camera to add in some color. I used it for both this and again for my image of M81. Now I found image in this one, I'd love to spend more time in it. So hopefully when it's getting higher during the winter, I'm gonna add in a few more nights and get my full run of RGB on it because it's just the most fascinating galaxy when you see the detail that comes out in the images. So for observing M82, I used my 12 inch Dobsonian. And this is just a fantastic little galaxy to focus on 
because you can begin by observing the pair of galaxies with both Galaxy and M82 in the one field of view and you can kind of work on the arm structure of M81 but you'll find yourself being drawn to M82 because of that little central structure that it has and there's a tiny little dark lane running through it and the fact that it kind of throws its material off in the direction of M81 you can see that snapshot of the two galaxies passing by each other about the, I think it was about 300 million light years ago that they, they passed by to pull that material off because M81 is about 10 times uh, the size of M82 and they're physically co close in space not just from our vantage point now when you're observing them you can try to look for that tapered end on M82 it's quite tricky to pull out but I find when you're looking between the edges and the center your averted vision will tease out some of that detail. So for my observing session of M82 it was paired up with my observing session of M81 uh, because they're just so close in the sky and that wide field view is just so nice to start with when you go to this part of the sky. You can really look for those arm structures in M81 first on the wide field but once you start putting magnification on you'll find yourself drawn to that central portion of M82 and trying to tease out those little dust lanes that run uh, just through that narrow center. Uh, it's got two tapered ends then it kind of it's quite elongated that's where it gets the nickname the cigar galaxy but the ends are quite faint and there's a little bit of a curve um, so you can try to kind of hop your eye between that dark lane in the center and the edges and your averted vision will pick up the other one as you're looking in the other direction it's it's nice and mottled in that center as well it's quite similar to the whale galaxy not as bright but it's got a similar kind of formation in it just where that the uh, all that um star forming regions in around the center i found my favorite view of this was again well, i tend to get drawn back to it all the time but, but with my 16 millimeter nirvana i just found it had that nice kind of contrast with it it wasn't the largest um image i could get but uh, I found the contrast with that central line was just wonderful in my 16mm uh, eyepiece. So all in all this is one of the most fascinating galaxies to observe. The fact that it's paired up with M81 just makes it a really good object for wide field observations and also for getting some magnification onto it. Um, I'm lucky enough to have a really good northern horizon now so I'll be revisiting um, M81 and M82 a lot. Um, there's some smaller galaxies around as well within that group so I'll be looking at those in my next video on M81. Uh, thanks so much for watching and until next time, clear skies.